Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the 21st. So right around the 21st, I know yesterday's reading was kind of scary, but I've got some sort of revelation, and I feel as though you know we sat, we had that death card, and then we we had the uh, Knight of Swords reversed, and then we had the Tower. So somebody could be coming into your life very, very, very fast. Like, you don't even see them coming. And I said, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for the loss of your old life. <laughs> the tower can actually be a good thing, okay? When you let go of your false impressions. This is absolutely a shock. You may have tr been in, you know, the tower is a false sense of security. You may have been protecting yourself. Somebody comes flying into your life, and now you have to start over. The tower is about starting over, starting from scratch. You may be starting a new life from scratch. And it may be with somebody that comes flying into your life out of nowhere. So let's get started. This is for the 21st. What do we have for the 21st? Five of Cups. Now it is a challenge. It came out sideways. So that means a challenge to let go. This, you know, this is prolonged grief. There's another opportunity here. For love with the two of cups. I'm going to put it back in. Somebody has been having a hard time. You know crying over a loss. Moping over a loss. Wallowing perhaps in self pity. But there is another opportunity here. This is moving on. It's letting bygones be bygones. It's focusing on the future. So what do we have for around the 21st? Three of Wands reversed. Unprepared. Completely unprepared. Not not ready. Not ready. Not prepared. Feeling weak. Feeling like you can't control your emotions, perhaps, because this is unable to master emotions. This is lack of foresight. Didn't see it coming. There's been a delay. may be feeling vulnerable. There could be uh, low self-esteem issues here. Nine of Wands reversed. I mean, nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. Four of Cups. Uh, definitely not interested. Like, I'm not interested. Like It's like there's an opportunity here, but not really interested in it, right? There's depression. This is feeling anxiety, depression, sadness, not worthy, not good enough. Uh, it feels like we have an individual that isn't is missing something. They're missing an opportunity for love, or they're ignoring an opportunity. There's love here. There's an opportunity here, but it's being ignored or something like that. There's some sort of depression with these two cards. It's like, and this is giving deep thought to whatever is happening. And there could be a lot of fear. This is fear. Both these cards. Extremely fearful of accepting. So somebody is extremely fearful of accepting. Totally unprepared. Ooh, now this is a message. It's conflict, okay? This is a message that you're unprepared for, right? You're unprepared for it. It's a message you weren't prepared to hear because that is a, you know, it is. So there's a message that is coming. It's going to make you feel conflicted. Page of Swords is somebody that is very curious. It's, it's going to spark your curiosity as well. Oh, there is a new golden opportunity. There is. 
if somebody has manifested something. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is the uh, gift. It's a gift. This is all the power is right in your hand. You're being given an opportunity for stability and security. This is something you can touch. It's something you can take to the bank. Something you can hold on to. So you're, somebody's going to be given an opportunity that they were completely unprepared for. This is a real opportunity that could lead to some long-term permanence, okay? This is abundance. It leads to abundance. So we got a new solid opportunity here. But there's feeling conflicted about it. It's like, hmm, on the defensive. Yeah, on the defensive. That is on the defensive. I can't even make it up. Okay, expecting trouble, on guard. What the hell do you want from me? Why? Why? You know, it's like uh, back up. You got. I feel like we got somebody here that is interested. They're interested. They're communicating. <clears throat> they got something to say, and you probably have your guard up. You're probably like, "Don't come near me. I don't trust." This is wanting to protect yourself. We do have somebody here that wants to protect themselves from getting broken hearted again. <clears throat> Ooh, giving up independence might be a problem. Don't want to make any foolish mistakes here. No faith. No faith. If this is, I'm afraid to take a risk. There's fear. Fear of giving up independence. There's insecurities here. So we got somebody here that is very insecure. Low self-esteem. Maybe feeling inadequate. <coughs> to clear my throat. So there could be some problems with communication. The fool is uh, unwilling to take a risk. Which could lead to a missed opportunity. Afraid to fall, afraid afraid to fall. I don't want to fall, I don't want to fall, I'm not going to do this, you know. A lot of fear here, a lot of fear. Um, a lot of fear and insecurities. Too much anxiety, overwhelmed. A lot of doubt, doubting, doubting that whoever this person is, is that, that is very curious, that is communicating, is being honest. So there's a lot of doubt but it looks as though this is a gift. Ooh, avoided. There's been a delay. Now the tower has somebody has avoided a change. They've avoided it, but they can't avoid it anymore. When the tower is in, in reverse, there's been a delay. There has been a delay, but the delay is over. Okay, the tower reverses. The delay is over. This is a change that you never saw coming. Okay, and it's going to cause some sort of internal disruption. This is a major disruption, and I think it's within you. Um, this is insecure, unstable, reckless behavior, foolish. This is, uh, you know... The tower reverse is, is that somebody has avoided a, a life change. They've been trying to protect themselves, so they've been avoiding this uh, new beginning because the tower comes in and it caused some sort of disruption or a major breakdown, you know. And, and this could be even rebuilding. Somebody may have avoided rebuilding. A new foundation. They've avoided it. I think that we have an individual that is going to be caught off guard. They are going to be caught off guard by a new opportunity that they were not prepared for. And, and now they're feeling really insecure because they have to... You know, in order to accept whatever this opportunity is that they're given, they're going to have to take a risk. And there's too much fear of taking a risk. I'm not really interested in taking a risk. So I do believe there is an offer here, but it's like, I'm scared. On the defensive. Oh, 
overwhelmed, need to make a decision. Spur of the moment. You gotta make a decision. Do you wanna do you wanna focus on the past? Do you wanna focus on the disruption you've experienced in the past? Do you wanna keep uh protecting yourself or do you wanna open yourself up? Are you ready to go down a new path? There's definitely a new or a new door that is opening. You have an opportunity to go down a new path, but you're gonna have to let go of your fear and stop carrying the burden, you know, that you've been carrying. Let the past go. Definite insecurities here. Feeling like you don't, you're not good enough. You may be feeling like you're not good enough. It's better just to push somebody away. It feels like we have an individual that may be pushing somebody away because they're afraid. They're afraid that it won't last. They're afraid that it's false. So it's best just to avoid. Let's just try to avoid this from happening. I'm going to protect myself and... Uh, you know, not going to give you any attention because it's better off that way. You know. We do have a spur of the moment decision. This is the moment of decision. You have an opportunity to uh, go down another path right now. But those burdens and the baggage from the past that you are carrying is holding you back. It's holding you back from happiness. This is an exciting opportunity. But the Ten of Pentacles reverse, that's short-lived success. Instability. This is like losing it all. We could have somebody here that is really afraid of commitment even. Now the Ten of Pentacles reverse is is uh, not comfortable. Definitely not comfortable. Worried, maybe somebody is worried about, because this is very worried, extremely worried, and this is extremes as well. If somebody is extremely worried about, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the family. What Will, the, will there be able to, the family be able to adjust to, this is a change, and this is a change as well. There's a change here. It comes in all of a sudden. There's been a delay in this change happening. We have somebody here that's very defensive. Now they get this opportunity. They get an opportunity with somebody that is has sparked their curiosity, but their insecurities are in the way. Mm, Ten of Pentacles reverse. That is, uh, but this is extreme fear. Fear that it's not going to last. Fear that we have a lot of fear here that it's something will not last. So that's why we got somebody not putting in effort. What the hell? Thinking about it, though, we got somebody here that is really thinking about, you know, whether they want to invest in this, whether they should pick up and go someplace else, whether they should, uh, whether they should let this grow. What, what, what's, what's my next step? So we got somebody here that is definitely thinking, and I think they're overwhelmed. I do feel like they're overwhelmed because it's almost like they're forced to make, because this is forced. You're forced to make a decision. Tower is forced. You've been able to avoid it. For so long, but you can't avoid it anymore. Okay, you can't. So this is this is somebody that is thinking about, you know, relocation. Thinking about should I do this? Should I not? You know, Empress. This is the birth of a new life. This is a birth of a new life. This is a birth. This is a a new beginning. A very oper and it's an opportunity for a lot of abundance. This is somebody that is unconditional love that has somebody that is thinking about, you know, maybe this person wants to relocate to that other person's location, okay? Because this is at a distance as well. This could be long distance. It could be a distance. There could be a distance here between two people. But this person is very beautiful, very abundant, very motherly, very caring, very down-to-earth, glowing, um... We got an individual here that is thinking a lot about this one. This one, it could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be anybody, but this person is uh, 
does everything with love. So we definitely have an individual that is thinking long and hard. And they are overwhelmed with a choice that they have to make. This may involve moving, maybe moving in together, a change in residence here. Yeah, the Empress gives birth. She gives birth. She delivers. She delivers. She does it all. We may have had a relationship that didn't last in the past. It may have crumbled, but there's a chance to rebuild. We may have an individual that uh, missed an opportunity in the past. They, they ignored an offer of love and now they want it back. That's what it looks like to me. And it does. And it could be somebody brand new. Anyway, this is for the 21st. I feel as though uh, this is about giving up independence. Getting into a long-term relationship for some of you. But that Nine of Pentacles reverse, that's like... Uh, I really like my independence or, you know, insecure, insecure about building a foundation or building another false foundation, you know, that doesn't last. There's definitely a lot of fear about that. There is. I think that uh, we have an empress here who, we have an individual that is making a decision. This is a decision, this is a decision about this empress. This empress is... Uh, She's the giver of life. She can make anything grow. She's beautiful. She's abundant. She's uh, everything. Okay? She is everything. Definitely giving deep thought to a relationship with this person. One more card. There is a message that is coming. I think it's a hard message. I think because of that page of swords. I think it's a it's a message well, you know, about it's a very honest message, okay? It's a truthful message. I think we have an individual that is it may be saying, you know, you have to make a choice, you know, that kind of thing. Ah oh, oh okay. So the hair of font is about commitment. It's about commitment. It's about uh God, okay, the, the Hierophant is a godly energy, somebody that has a direct connection with God, somebody's gut, you need to listen to your gut, listen to your gut, your gut will give you, God will give you the answer, your gut, will, your intuition will give you your answer, we have somebody here that is, is going to need to give an answer, whoever this person is, does have access to God, okay, this is about having faith, you need to have faith, Have faith and trust. So I feel like uh, God or higher power has has uh, done something. Okay, they've done something. They they have because that is the, the God. I mean, that's the highest authority right there. That is the highest authority that has guided somebody. That's guidance. That's divine guidance right there. Listen to your gut. There is an opportunity here. I think to build a new foundation but you're gonna have to have faith and let your guard down somebody wants you to give them a chance they're gonna be speaking you're gonna speaking be speaking very truthfully you're totally unprepared for it this could lead to marriage long-term commitment a long-term commitment right here but there's extreme fears so I think there is a decision that is being made in regards to a empress that is being propositioned she this, she's somebody's looking at her she's being uh they may be asking her to make a choice because this is a choice 
Somebody is asking this individual to make a decision. <coughs> Excuse me, I can't talk. And maybe that's it, I can't talk. You may be at a loss for words. You may be, you may be at a loss for words what, with, by whatever this person says to you or, or, you know, something like that. You may be overwhelmed with it. Um, the Empress has, has, knows her value. She is the queen of all queens. She is very valuable and she knows it. She has plenty. She's very heartfelt. She's very caring. Everybody loves the Empress. She's the pick of the litter. So anyway, we do have a new beginning here. We have an opportunity for a new beginning. It's a profound change. Unfortunately, we got that one again. So that is a new, that's a new day. It's a new beginning after something ends. But you have to let your old life end to have your new life. So I feel, and this is the birth of a new life. So we have an empress that is about to give birth to a new life. It's time. It's time. She's already suffered. Or maybe she's about to. <laughs> um, anyhow, there is, a, there is a spur of the moment choice. Decision. It's the moment of decision. Do you go down this path or not? So uh, around the 21st, somebody is going to make a decision. Are you ready? Are you ready for the new life? If you are, you're going to have to have faith and trust. This is totally unexpected. You never saw it coming. You'll have to let your guard down. This is a golden opportunity that could lead to a long-term commitment. We have Taurus a couple times. Taurus, Taurus. We have Libra. We have Scorpio, we have uh, Leo. We have a moment of weakness here as well. We have somebody here that is giving deep thought and it's, it's just like, maybe you may feel sick to your stomach that you have to make this decision. Anyway, be prepared to get, uh, you may be told, what's your choice? What's your decision? What do you want? Good luck.